Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing great and I would like to use this opportunity that I celebrate my first anniversary to the channel and thank you all for the support and positive comments you are pouring in. I'm getting hundreds if not more messages and based on your requests and feedbacks on topics you would like to, to learn about and things I need to improve, so really appreciate it. And today I'm going to talk about one of the most popular topics many newcomers to the field of cybersecurity ask. How to build your own hacking box and start learn hacking. So stay tuned till the end and I promise you will be motivated to start learning today. Yet remember, this is for educational purposes and ethical purposes, so not by all means any malicious intent. So what is the agenda for today? how to build your own Xbox, virtual machine and Xbox, and two, tools you should install and practice and own your skills. And if this video will reach 100 likes, I promise I will create a series of videos with more episodes with X and techniques to improve your skills. So let's see the results of it. But before getting into how you can create one by yourself, let's first discuss what exactly is a hackbox? So what is a hackbox and why do you need one? In simple words, a hackbox is a virtual machine or a sandbox environment. Such environments or virtual machines create a separate emulation on your computer system where you can practice your hacking skills. Anyone who wishes to practice acting needs a hackbox. You cannot apply the techniques you learn to live and real world systems when you are still in initial stages of learning, right? Besides, you don't want to act to other entity without their consent and end up in jail, do you? So you need a hackbox to practice your skills. So what hardware do you need? And before building your Xbox, you should remember that virtual environments require significant computing resources. So make sure that your system has the following hardware. The first thing you need is a fast processor. And you will get better results with the help of EXA processor that using a dual core or at least quad core processor. Choosing a processor and having more processor can help be helpful to get an always better solution. You also need to consider the clock speed while choosing a CPU for virtualization. Less clock speed is preferred. There are enough CPU vendors in the market to choose from and many videos about it, so no need to get into much details here. Yet, I would recommend an i7 and above due to the hyper-threading support, but i5 and equivalent by AMD and IBM will do the job as well. Second, virtualization needs dedicated RAM. And one of the significant things that could restrict your ability to establish a virtual lab is the lack of your creative skills. At least 16 GB of RAM or a memory card is required. However, having 32 GB of RAM or a better GPU can improve your performance further. And many computers with 16 GB of RAM enables future expansion, which is essential to keep in mind while buying a CPU for virtualization as well. The virtualization experience can be more outstanding with the help of 32 GB of RAM. In terms of uh, hard drive, it is essential because running multiple virtual machines simultaneously can ask for a more significant amount of I.O. on your system. So having a fast hard drive disk or SSD card can help significantly. In my test, recommended size are minimum 500 to 1 terabyte at the minimum. Next, what software tools do you need? And now that you have all the necessary hardware, let us move to the software tools you need to build your Xbox. The first one is Kali Linux. And Kali Linux is one of the most secure Linux operating system and the go-to choice for hackers, or should I say, ethical hackers. But what makes it so popular? And Kali Linux popularity is in its vast 
library of over 600 tools for information security, making it suitable to handle security analysis, penetration testing, and security auditing. You can install Kali Linux on Windows or run it as a live image by copying Kali Linux on a bootable USB. The former is preferred as removable media might lead to slower performance. Second is email encryption. Another thing that you will need is email software, since sending and receiving encryption emails is necessary for secure communication and vulnerability reports. You should use OpenPGP or AES to secure your email client. You should remember never to use the default zip encryption as it doesn't perform well against modern sophisticated attack. But don't worry, if this term seems complicated right now, I will show you how to create your Xbox using these tools step by step. The third one is firewall. And you should also set up firewall. Professional white hat hackers often use a custom firewall as it allows them to open ports, prevent outgoing traffic, or filter incoming traffic. When adding the firewall, you should stop or deny all incoming traffic so there is no outside interference with your virtual machine. The fourth one is Password Manager. This is definitely a tool you can benefit uh, from, since you will access your Xbox with the key pair and continually need to generate and store passwords as you proceed with different servers. There are a lot of password managers available that you can choose from. So now let's move to our main topic. How to set up your own Xbox. So now that we have checked the requirements and tools let us start building a virtual Xbox. We will carry out all the steps in details so you can follow everything and return if encounter a problem. So let's get started. First one is downloading a virtual uh, a machine. And one of the best free open source tools, in my opinion, is the Oracle VM Virtual Box. The link to download the Oracle uh, virtual machine is in the description uh, below. And once you open the Oracle uh, VM virtual box page, all you need to do is select the version of your operating system and download the VM virtual box. Let's see how the web page looks. As you can see, all the operating systems are mentioned in bullet links for one click download. Once the file is downloaded, you need to install the virtual box. And once the installer opens, you will see the installer window as shown on the screen. Click next and follow the instruction. You will be prompt to select if you want to start menu entries and shortcuts. Click next after selecting all of them and you will reach the custom installation window. Click next and the installation wizard will ask you to continue with the setup or change any setting by going back as shown here. Once you click install, the setup will begin and complete installing Oracle VM VirtualBox on your system. Once the setup installs, click finish and you are done. One thing to note here is that the VirtualBox installer setup will also install network interfaces, serial bus software, and network services and adapters. So you do not need to change any setting for these additional steps. Just keep clicking next to add those and let the setup complete installation. Once you have successfully installed the virtual box, you need to configure it. The first step in this process is creating a host-only network to allow various VMs to communicate, mimicking the behavior of a local area network. You can easily set up a host-only network on our virtual box. Open the virtual box by double clicking on the desktop icon and navigating to the file menu where you will find the host network manager. Click on it and click create to add a new host only network. As you can see, a new host has been added. Now you should verify that the DHCP server is enabled by checking the properties button on top. After configuring our virtual box, we need to install Kali Linux on the virtual machine. Traditionally, people used to create bootable USBs or CDs and created Kali Linux VMs on these. However, we are going to take an advantage of the AWS EC2. 
and you can easily create an AWS free tier account. I have provided the link in the description. And Amazon Web uh, Services offer a variety of tools, and the EC2 stands for Elastic Compute Cloud, allowing you to rent virtual machines where you can run your application. For Kali Linux, log in your AWS account, navigate your Amazon Management Console, and select EC2. Now, from the EC2 dashboard, you need to click the Launch Instance button. Search the AWS Marketplace and search for Kali Linux. You will need to buy the Kali Linux instance, so select the eligible one with the free tier. The free tier eligible is excellent for those working on moderate devices who need a different environment from personal usage of their devices. So once you click Next, you will see a configuration panel. There is no need to change any settings so you can move further. When reaching the network setting, you should change the SSH traffic for security groups from custom to my IP. This setup is important as it will mask your virtual box and eliminate outside interference. It will create the safest entry for your IP that only you can access. Now you need to choose a key pair for the Kali Linux instance, and you can select one of the existing pairs or also create one yourself. You should also download and save this in your password manager, so another great opportunity to use it. The final step is using your command prompt to use the downloaded key pair to replace the username and insert the IPv4 address from your AWS Kali instance uh, details. Congratulations! Now your virtual box is ready for testing. Launch your Kali Linux and open the terminal. One of the easiest commands is the ping command, which ensures you can reach your email server from the Kali VM. Just type in ping followed by the IP address of your VM, and you will see the output if it's working. You can cancel the ping command execution by pressing Ctrl C if you are a Windows. When you do so, you will see additional information regarding the number of data packets transmitted and received, uh, the time taken, and the percentages of the packet loss. And there you have it. Your Kali Linux virtual box is working perfectly. If you cannot generate an appropriate response, you should follow all the steps and check if you configure the virtual box correctly. If not, by the way, send me a message and I will help you to, to debug. No problem. But that is it. You have built your Eggbox. You can start practicing your hacking skills using the Kali virtual Eggbox. And let's see how you can create a vulnerable server that can be hacked. So beginners often create vulnerable servers and practice hacking them to refine their skills. You can download the ISO files for any operating system and install them onto the Oracle VM virtual uh, box. Once you do so, you can install the web server software or DNS servers inside the VM and get to the hacking itself. The internet is full of vulnerable VMs for practice, so you can also find an hacking challenge on VulnAB and I will leave a link in the description. So now you are ready to start learning to be a hacker, an ethical hacker. So your Oracle VM virtual box requires two separate machines. One virtual machine is the Kali box that you will use to hack, and the other is a mail server, a mail or a server, on which you can practice uh, hacking. But wait, there is more for our aspiring hackers as promised. And I wanted to list the latest top five Kali Linux tools every hacker, in my view, needs in 2022. And Kali Linux continually increases its tool, uh, tool set so you can have fun with it. And with Kali latest version, here are five new tools that you definitely need to use uh, as your practice hacking. The first one is Bruchark which is a network forensic analysis tool. This is a must, in my view, for all of you, as it allows you to inspect network traffic and perform deep processing. Bruchar comes with a lot, such as building network maps, reconstructioning, uh, TCP session, password extraction, and much more. The next tool is Defect Dojo, and Defect Dojo allows easy management of security programs and maintaining products and application information. It is a security orchestration and vulnerability management tool that enriches your experience by improving with machine learning using its heuristic algorithms. Moving to the next 
It's PHP Sploit. And PHP Sploit is a post-exploitation tool that provides stealthy interactive HTTP connections so you can access compromised web servers and escalate your privileges. Another tool in the list, number four, is Shellfire. And Shellfire will help you in your hacking journey. And Shellfire is actually an exploitation shell with which you can exploit many vulnerabilities, including LFI, RFI, and command injection. Last but not least is Spraying Toolkit. And this tool is one of the best ones that includes Python utilities. And the tool is extremely helpful in conducting password spraying attacks quickly and efficiently. So you can test your organization, uh, uh, infrastructure, or your egg box itself for ethical act. So that's it, guys, with the best Kali Linux tools you need for your egg box. I definitely you can find the commands to install all of these in the description below. Just open your Kali command line and type it in. So we are almost at the end of our video and with ever growing cyber risk, cyber security experts and ethical hackers are needed more than ever before. Every now and then a new cyber attack makes the headlines, which means there is a huge demand for skilled ethical hackers and penetration testers who can verify the security of products and services. And we all know this demand is only going to rise. So there is no better time to get into hacking and sharpen your skills. And I hope at least that now with this video, at least the first step, you can create your hack box and begin your ethical hacking journey. If you are interested in learning more about hacking, I have given a link in my previous videos on hacking in the description below. I hope you guys like the video. Please let me know if you encounter any problems during the steps in the comment section. Remember, if we reach 100 likes, I would create another chapter for more techniques and methods to guide you in your journey for ethical hacking. Take care and I will see you in the next video.